These are the pictures I told you about, right here. Good afternoon, folks. <laughs> uh -huh. This is Captain Wilson. We've got an update for you on our current flight status. At this time, we anticipate an on-time arrival at Olympia International. And outside, the skies over Olympia are clear and the temperature is a comfortable 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Hope you had a pleasant stay in Bogota. It's been our pleasure serving you and hope the next time you fly, Choose Pan Global Express Airlines. Thank you. Folks, we're going to be dimming the cabin lights now. If you haven't purchased headphones for a new flight movie or need a blanket or pillow, please ask one of the flight attendants. I can't believe this was overlooked. This is TB. I suspect multiply resistance. Is he in isolation? I'm sure he is. No, apparently he went into congestive heart failure. He's been in the intensive care ward since yesterday. Are you kidding? Hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Uh, we're moving this man to isolation. He's been misdiagnosed. He has TB, not congestive heart failure. According to who? According to the sputum test in your lab. Would you get the doctor a mask? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did you see these results? No, but the doctor just came from there. The doctor doesn't work here. You do not come into one of my wards and start giving orders. I didn't. Your resident did. He should have waited for the report. Health Services has no authority here. Actually, in a communicable case, I do. Maybe I should be talking to the hospital administration. You're making a big mistake here, honey. I don't think so. And it's doctor, not honey. You better be right. I better be wrong, considering how many people this man just exposed. Randy called about the three E. coli cases. Also, John Grimes about the meningitis, and Sally Maxwell from the AIDS hospice. Hannah, I'm on my way out to beg for more funding. Walk with me. I know he could have infected the whole ward, but you can't take this autocratic attitude on another doctor's terrain. I'm not the one that was being autocratic. Okay, stop. Maybe. Just promise me you'll be more diplomatic next time. George, I am good at epidemiology. I'm not good at diplomatic. Well, try, can't you? I will try. Am I excused? Yes, you're excused. And hand it. Remember. Nice. Passengers from Pan Global Express Flight 117. The baggage claim is located on the second floor. All right, Ben, on the how goes it? Seat. No, 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 I just got in. I'm heading for the shuttle now. You got the samples? They ordered the pasta. Right. They are getting the pasta. Now, it's too late for substitutions now. I can. I got a flight to Taiwan, and all I want to do till then is sleep and water my plants. You play in the Phillies. I know. Why do you only get tickets when I have a flight? I just came into these tickets.
loading and unloading of passengers only. Any unattended vehicles will be towed away. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. Any unattended vehicles will be towed away. How you doing, kid? You don't look so good. Did something go wrong? <laughs> no, no, I just, I'm feeling kind of lousy. Any problems down there? No, everything went smooth. Quick. Quick is good. Nice jacket. Hey, this <laughs> next turn up on the right. Huh? Hey! Yeah, yeah, it was the top of the hill. Left at the mailbox. Hey, you'll feel better once you get home. Yeah, I just think I... Uh, 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 Help him, idiots! Uh, 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 uh. Is he an epileptic or something? Must have burst. Unbelievable. Damn it! That's it, blue mailbox. Go, turn up the driveway. He lives alone, right? Good. Fig, you got your knife? Uh huh. Oh, come on. Do you know how much that coke is worth on the street? Yeah, but. So you've got a problem? No. Good. Then you help. Got him. Find it. Oh, yeah. Good. Give me the knife. Gerard, bring me that stuff. Tell me your mule didn't get taken. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Julie, what do you think? Should I go with the red one? The black's better, Dad. Why do they call it a monkey suit? It makes you feel like one. <laughs> oh, that's your mom. She's my stepmother.
I was on my way out of there early, even, and then one thing led to another, and... Ah, we can be late. It's just a $250 plate dinner. Ouch. Besides, Rob will be happy to eat our appetizers for us. <laughs> oh, when you got the sainthood. How did I miss that ceremony? You were working. You think you might be taking on a little too much too soon here? I mean, new kids, a demanding new job. You've been back on your feet for less than a year, you know? Honey, this isn't anywhere near the pressure in Africa. Well, you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of anybody else. I don't want you to have to go through putting me back together again, either. Hannah, I'm not worried about having to put you back together again. I'm worried about having you. No, I understand. It's fine. I'm glad you called me first. Mm. All right. Bye. What comes after sainthood? When they brought him in here, I was sure he was another mule OD'd. We got a bunch of them slid open like pigs for slaughter. Now, usually, I don't get people starting my work for me, but whoever did him made such a mess looking for the drugs, I just naturally looked there first, right? You sure cocaine was the cause of death? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood levels were through the roof. The stuff must have been almost pure. Listen, I know you don't get to look at ODs much, but I do, and this one looked really strange. You prepare a culture in this mirror? Mm-hmm. Where is it set up? Right here. Cholera. You ever seen Vibrios? No. Nasty looking, aren't they? Who is this man? Oh, who knows? He's a John Doe found on Canyon Road, but you know, nobody swallows balloons of coke unless they're smuggling, right? Oh, yeah, but from where and when? I mean, we need to know everyone this man came in contact with. I mean, you're gonna have to be tracked for the next five days. It's Hannah. The body at the coroner's has cholera. Yeah. I'm gonna have him send you samples to be cultured. Uh, meanwhile, I, we, we need to alert every county emergency room right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. Bye. Police brought this man in? Uh, yeah. You think it's more than this one guy? Well, I sure as hell hope not. I need to know if you find anyone else like this. Sandwiches you made. Oh, he didn't die of cholera, he overdosed. But th that's not the point. Yeah, and, and the point is? Homicide said this man has never been arrested, so I was hoping that you people might know someone in the drug community that was connected with him. Look, as far as I can make out, you're telling me that some drug dealers might get cholera because of the coke they cut out of some dumb mule. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that would save me a lot of trouble, and it would serve them all right. Have you ever seen cholera, Detective? No, ma'am, I don't believe I have. You ought to. It's real pretty. Vomiting, diarrhea, dehydration, kidney failure. And you have complete circulatory collapse. Your blood pressure plummets. Body goes into shock. Within 24 hours, without medical treatment, you are dead. It preys on the most vulnerable, old people, children. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. So what are you saying? Even junkies and dealers have mothers and kids. Their families could get sick. The incubation period for cholera is one to five days. Now, it's treatable if you get to it in time, but if you don't, he kills a lot of people really fast. The last outbreak in the Nile Valley, 20,000 dead. We're in the United States. 
That doesn't make us immune. I can see you don't like me treading on your turf here. I don't get it. But if you don't assign somebody to help me right now, I will have your captain do it. She means it, Barnes. How are you? I'd listen to her. Or is there some part of I need help that um, you don't comprehend? Dr. Cole, Louisa Rojas. Detective Rojas. Oh, that's right. How could I forget? The outfit threw me. Or are you undercover today? You know, I have such little fashion sense, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the file. Lou, it's all yours. Okay. So are we doing this or what? Boys, just keep playing with yourselves. I <laughs> always like this. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me get one thing straight, okay? I was sticking up for myself. This isn't the beginning of some woman's lip thing or anything. I? So, you want me to check out this mule? Yes. Well, <clears throat> whoever the dealers on this end are, I don't think I'm gonna get much on the street about them tonight. Hello. When? All right. Yeah, all right, all right. Another probable case over at County General. I gotta go. So, I'm gonna go over to Homicide, see what they got. We're gonna get a hold of you. Oh, my numbers, they're all on here. Detective. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. She was going into shock when they brought her in. I started her on Ringer's lactate right away. She went completely sour. I almost lost her. Nobody told me about a cholera alert until afterwards. Here, she's right in here. Take samples mm -hmm. and tariff precautions. Yeah, I put her on tetracycline right away. Campbell, let's go. I, I'll be back as soon as I can. Catherine will look after you until I get back. Who is it? They're poisoning me. No, no, no. You're sick. It's just that you're sick and you're going to feel better in a little while. You'll feel better, I promise. Come here, come here. Okay, let, let me have your hand. Let me have your hand. I just want to take your pulse. There we go. See? Okay. Right. There we go. You're my doctor? Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. There you go. Can you tell me where you live? You know where you live? It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. You just rest. I just want you to rest. Transition team, report to OR Transition team, They found her downtown? Mm -hmm. First, we didn't know what was up. It's hard to tell with homeless people. She sounds pretty far gone. Did you see any indications of drug abuse? No. Cocaine, specifically. No. What does cocaine have to do with cholera? No, it's just the first case was a drug smuggler. Dr. Thought... Cole, you got two more possibles at St. Mary's. One of them is dead. OK, I'll be there if you need me. There's someone on their way down here from my office to do the follow-up. Will you fill them in? Yeah, absolutely. This could get really bad, huh? Like, how bad? Well, if it gets out of control, the problem with cholera is that without treatment, it just kills so fast. We really got to move on this. Sign this invoice.
I see you. He's fully insured. Right. Well, it's just as bad here, and as soon as I can, I'm on my way. All right, bye. Hey, Doc, I'm thinking that maybe, maybe this homeless woman picked it up from some coke dealer. Well, that's not likely, is it? Well, if she was sleeping in some crack house... No, but it doesn't work like impossible. that. It's not like TB. This is an intestinal disease. It's usually spread by, I don't know, contaminated water-soiled hands or the food that was infected by them. Right. Okay, so let's let's think about this drug deal. We don't know where he got it. Uh, could it have been Mexico? Well, there's not been much cholera in Mexico lately, but it's possible. Why? Because he's been traveling back and forth for the last couple of years, you know, bringing in Mexican furniture to sell the stores here. Only this time he wasn't bringing in any furniture. But why in his stomach? I thought that guy in Homicide said that it's usually smugglers on airplanes who do that. Yeah, but they still walk it and drive it across that way. His ex-girlfriend told me that the Federales took his car apart looking for drugs the last time he crossed, so I guess this time balloons. Well, you know, our worst problem is that he may not have been the only one coming across that border that was exposed to the cholera. Hundreds of people go across that border. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Detective. Call me Lou. Lou. My staff and I are, are fielding these cases, trying to nail down this source. What I really need from you is to come at it from the other direction. I'll find the coke and the dealers, OK? okay. I got to go. Dr. Cole, so you're saying that uh, anybody who even tastes the coke that was cut out of that mule, they, they could get cholera? It's possible, yeah. <sighs> Stuff hits the street. We're talking a lot of sick people. Yep. Ready, Bri? Looks like a great day for a trip. Jeez, Dad. What? You need any more pockets? What, you think I got too many? Yeah, I think so. Daddy! Yeah? Do you think you should bring this? Oh, um, why don't you ask Hannah? Can't you get anything right? You were such a wussy little girl. the backpack. Remember the one I got you when you had your tooth pulled? I mean, it's light, it keeps your hands free. It's ugly. Yeah. It is ugly. It's for you. I'm sorry. I, I tried. I know. I'll get her. Dr. Cole. All right, you kids take care of your dad.
Can I for this? Well, Julie will be fine. And Brian is totally into it. <laughs> he hasn't been camping since he got kicked out of the scouts. <laughs> like father, like son. Anyway, we'll be great. How about you? How are you doing? Oh. Last night must have pushed some buttons. Did you get any sleep at all? About an hour or so. Had my favorite dream again. Africa? What else? Well, it could be the one you told me about, where I put you on the table and died. No, it wasn't that dream. <laughs> Hannah, look, we don't have to go away this weekend. Oh, honey, you're kidding? I don't want both your children resenting me. It's been less than three years since Lorraine died. I know. I know it takes time for children to get over these things. It's just hard sometimes. I know. Julia will come around, you'll see. I hope so. I gotta go. You take care of yourself. Okay. Now, I do know the idea of this is to get away from civilization and all that, but if you should happen to run across a payphone out there while you're... I'll call you from the car on the way in and on the way out. Okay. We'll be home Sunday by 5. I miss you. I love you. I do like you better in the tux, though. <laughs> Stephanie. You recognize my voice, but I hate being that obvious, so I'm changing my perfume anyway. What do you think? I think that you are way too perky for this time of day. Didn't we get up on the wrong side of the bed? Oh, I'm sorry, Steph. I just, I don't know why I keep some of these back-to-back -back flights. Money and the joy of flying with me. But you've only got me part of the way today. I'm turning around Hawaii. Oh, lucky you. Are you going to finish that? You always ask me this, and you always get the same answer. Help myself. How is it that you do not weigh 300 pounds with the way that you eat? I only eat other people's leftovers. Okay. some help. I need somebody to do leg work. As soon as Matt gets here. Hey, I think I got another one. What'd you say about Matt? Dr. Cole. Okay. Um, I, I, I'll call you back. Yeah. Looks like one of yours. Okay. Downtown. Got another IV scan. East, He's on his way down. It's homeless. Can you find any drugs in his system? Look, I gotta help out, Captain. Uh, Dr. Gold, just a minute. What about that isolation one you talked about? Right, it's almost set up. Uh, I've got to go. Dr. Cole. What? I'm uh, um, here. Yeah, and? Oh, I guess you don't remember me. Uh, Carl Friedman, Dr. Max's assistant. Oh, OK, so where is he? Oh, at Morningside Hospital. Why? I need him here. Well, uh, actually, they don't think he'll be up on his feet for at least a few more days. George, I know a slip disc is a slip disc. So where's where's Hutchins? And Rachel? I, you, you, no, no, it's not all right. Do you have any idea what we're up against here? Yeah, I think so. You think so?
Okay, everybody. Payday is right now. You can take your cut. But don't get greedy. I want this lot stepped on five to one, bagged and on the street today. Mix the rest with the Bolivian. I want this kilo packed and ready to travel. Where is Gerard? He's not feeling so good. It's still dropping. He's in shock. V fib. Charge of paddles to 200. Clear. Still nothing on the monitor, Doctor. 300. 300. Clear. 360. 360. Clear. One cc up and up and push. One cc push. Let's get some bertillium prepped and dopamine for renal backup. Right away. Seven mics, okay? Anything here? Normal sinus. Okay. All right. Pressure's coming What's going on here? I gotta have these people here sooner than this. You think I don't know that? Understood. I'll get to see you. Okay. I need a Delivery man, Hispanic, lives two counties away. We're all the map here. I know, that's what I need is a map. I need charts. I need this information collated so we can... Pin down the commonalities. Yeah, you know, that woman in Unit 4, why don't you find out if she's uh, conscious? If she is, I'd like you to... ask her if she has any idea where she may have contacted them. Find out what she's consumed in the last 72 hours and with whom she's been in contact. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hello. Go see how that uh, quarantine room is coming. We're running out of beds. <sighs> Lou, are you still there? No, no sound at Leeds, but it looks like our coke hasn't hit the street yet, at least not according to my sources. Well, I haven't seen any victims that use coke in here, so I mean, that's about the only good news I have. I'm going to go back to the scene of the crime, see if homicide missed something. I sure hope so. Oh, we need something to go on, Lou. This thing is really spreading fast. Hey, Dad, look at this. Dad, I have to. You know. She has to go to the bathroom again. That's all right, honey. Here, why don't you just go over here behind these bushes? What about snakes? Yeah, what if there's a rattler? <clears throat> I'll go make sure there isn't. See, nothing here. All clear. Do me a favor. Be a little nicer to your sister, will you? She's doing the best she can. She's a wuss. I think she misses your mom a little bit. Tell you the truth, so do I sometimes. Don't you? It's OK to admit it if you do. I know. That's why Julie's so weird with Hannah, huh? Probably. I'm glad you don't act like that. Hannah's OK. All right. Well, let's head on down to the site and set up camp, OK? You want to lead the way, big boy?
Hi, I'm Judith. You one of Doug's relatives? No. I spoke to you on the phone last night. I'm Detective Rojas. Um, Judith, what are you doing here? I just came by to get my jacket. It's a leather bomber one, you know, World War II style. Figured I'd better claim it before it disappeared. Maybe you've seen it. Nope. Great. Well, I gotta find it, so I better keep looking. Hey, Judith. When you and Doug were hanging out, you know, did you ever just, for the fun of it, you guys ever do any drugs? Hey, I don't do drugs, okay? It's him and his coked up idiot friends. It's one of the reasons I'm his ex girlfriend. Damn it, I know it was here. Hey, look, anything would help. If you could just name one of his friends, it would not get you implicated or involved in any look, way. Look, I am not involved. I hardly even saw Doug the last few months. The only reason I'm here is to pick up this stupid jacket, which may sound cold to you, but it's my brother's, and I promised I'd bring it back. I mean, I should feel terrible about him, only I, I don't really. Because my being involved with a guy like Doug in the first place wasn't real smart. I mean, God. Look what happened to him. Hey. It's okay. You had good times. Yeah, I guess. Damn it, he was such an idiot. Yeah, I've had a couple of those. <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if there was anyone who could have put Doug up to such a stupid scam, be that creepy man at Neptune's. The club? Yeah, he was a DJ there. He was a mean-looking little jerk with a scar over this eye. Gerard. Hey, did you make it? Oh, it looks like it, yeah, another homeless. That man, makes that makes six so far out of 17 total. 17 cents last night. So uh, when are we gonna go public? Well, we're not, not until we have some kind of solid information on how this thing is spreading. We gotta keep a tight lid on this thing with the press. This kind of an outbreak can easily cause a panic. <clears throat> Dr. Cole, the paramedics brought in this woman's son, too. DOA. away. You want to see him, don't you? You've got a call on line two. Dr. Cole. We received your fax this morning, so I wanted to notify you as soon as we were sure. It's cholera. Middle-aged man found in Pacific Heights. He must have passed out in his hotel room. Time of death, approximately 6 a.m. Uh, I'm not familiar with Pacific Heights. Where exactly is that? I'm sorry. I thought they told you. This is Dr. Hooley in San Francisco. Lines are ready. The chest bones are minor. Tracking intake, can I? I got it. More saline? Morphine, five milligrams IV. Five milligrams Is the bone ready. unit ready? Yes, it's ready, doctor. Pressure 86 over 50. Start another line. Prep for the trach. Get a number six. Apparently knocked over her coffee maker when she passed out. That's how it started. She's one lucky lady. If her friend over there hadn't stopped by to check up on her, the fire would have gone out of control. We'd be looking at massive tissue damage. Are you sure it's cholera? 
Well, with the burn trauma, I wouldn't have nailed it if I hadn't already treated three other patients of yours today, but yeah, I'm sure. Is she conscious? You won't be able to see her till she's out of the OR. Thanks. Hey, can you tell me anything else at all? Norma hadn't been feeling good since she got back from her vacation. Vacation? Did you know where she went? Latin America, I think. You think? Well, see, she wouldn't say much about it on account of... I think she was embarrassed. She felt funny, you know, being able to afford a trip like that when everybody else at work was barely surviving. What do you mean, Russ? At the shelter. That's how I know Norma. We're volunteers downtown at the Mercy Shelter Kitchen, you know, for the homeless. Okay, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Yes, all right. That McGreer guy. He came in this morning, and there's another one here too. Rose. Rose is not Yeah, I'm Dr. Cole. Mm -hmm. Do you know when she got back? Well, a couple of days ago, I think. Good. You think you can help me lay this off up north? I gotta talk to Thorne. So talk to him. Listen, I want to unload this soon, so if you're not interested, I have other places. No, we're interested. I'll have him call you, okay? By tomorrow, right? You know, those guys are dangerous. Maybe. Where the hell is Gerard? I told you he's sick. What do you mean he's sick? I mean, he's really sick, throwing up, diarrhea, it's nasty. Tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. What, you remember that mule I cut? He had those bad cramps, right? What if Gerard caught something from him? That mule had pure cocaine burst open in his gut. You really are one paranoid little man, you know that? Why do you want to waste your time with a low life like Gerard, anyway? <laughs> I told you. He's got something I need. Yeah? Well, like I said, he hasn't worked here in a month. But there's this one guy who comes in most weekends. He's pretty tight with him. Do you think I could get a phone number, maybe an address? Maybe if you come by later on. Hmm. Maybe. We got four more. All of them tested positive for Vibrios. These three right here aren't too bad. The worst one's over there. I don't care. I want a private care physician, and I want a private room. What's the problem? I do not like the treatment that I am getting. Uh, my wife and I are not staying in some indigent ward. I am a businessman. Sir, your wife has a contagious disease. Until I am not listening to some loser public health doctor. Yes, you are. Excuse me? I am an epidemiologist with the Pacific Health Services, and I'm telling you, you are going to listen. Now, if you would like to call a private physician, you can. You're damn right I can. I can walk right out of here, too. Oh, no, you can't. This is an infectious disease, sir. And if you do not cooperate, I have the authority to detain you here for public safety. Shall I call security? No. But you are looking at one hell of a lawsuit. That's fine. You start him on tetracycline. He won't take it. Sir, I'd like you to look around this room. This is a very serious disease. Now, you can either take this medicine and hopefully not get sick, or you can just sit here and wait to see what happens. Transition team, report to OR room five. Transition team to OR room five. I don't have time for this. Where's Carl? In the lounge down the hall. In the lounge? 
Okay, then ask him how to reach your daughter. Actually, just give it to me, thanks. Yes, yeah, sir, this is a medical emergency. Yeah, it's crawl free. I know we're tracking this at health services, but you need an answer as quick, okay? So, anyhow, we've definitely linked five of the eight homeless to the Mercy Shelter, where that burn woman worked. So she must have been the carrier there, so at least that part of the mystery's solved. I just wish to hell for sure I knew it was Mexico she went to. Oh, yeah, and I sent someone over to her house to take a look, see if they could find anything. Did you need me for anything at all? Okay. Excuse me, Dr. Cole, just how many cholera patients are you treating? I'm sorry, you are? Less than 10, more than a dozen. How'd you get in here? Dr. Cole, even half a dozen Americans with cholera is cause for alarm, don't you think? Look, Mr. Rick uh, Schaefer from the Herald. I don't know what kind of rumors you're responding to. What a health services alert fax to every hospital in the state. Now, I think that's more than a rumor, don't you? All right, I know what you want. You want a story. Oh, I think I already have a story. Oh, but you don't. You do, even if I told you everything I know right now, which unfortunately isn't nearly enough, I, all you'd go away from here with is, is an instant recipe for citywide confusion and panic. Now, is that what you want? You've got an epidemic. No, we, we've got an outbreak. And what I'd really like is your help here. I don't want you pouring gasoline on the flames here. OK, go ahead. I'm listening. It is cholera. We don't have a source yet, but we're on to some possibilities. And uh, well, with a little luck, we're going to have some concrete facts tomorrow. I promise, I promise you and your newspaper, my total cooperation, sole access to the inside story, if you'll just hold off a little longer. Please. Yeah, well, I guess it is getting a little late to get into the Sunday edition, so. Thank you. Yeah. We need more beds. We don't have more. Well, then we need to get another room. Dr. Cole. Dr. Cole, we've got gurneys lined up down the hall. We can't get this. Okay, room. I'll get this one, okay? All right, uh, what can I help you guys with? We've got to figure out what we can do about getting to Okay. Sam and Hannah's place, so you probably want to talk to Brian or Julie. Well, nobody here can come to the phone right now, so you know the routine. Hi. It's me. I know this is silly, because I know you're not there. But I just wanted to hear your voice. Hey, Dad, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. You look really sick. Oh, I'll be all right, honey. Uh, listen, I I'm going to try and sleep this off. Uh, Brian, I can trust you to take care of things, right? Sure, Dad. I know what to do. Me too. Well, don't stay up too late. I love you. Love you too, Dad. I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah, bright and early.
remember, we need this guy talking just in case the coke is in here. He's dead. We're clear? Damn it! We got a stiff in here. I'll call forensics. You better give the health services people a call, too. All right. You think he's got it? You don't get it by coming near him. Come on, girls. Okay, look, we take this place apart, we look for the coke, and we don't stop until we find it. Uh, it was going on to Taiwan, but I did a turnaround, and that's when I started to lose it. Have you been to Latin America recently? Mm -hmm. What about seafood? Have you eaten it anywhere? No, I, I haven't had a regular meal all weekend, just snacks. No. Uh, so we strike out with her. What about the woman in the shelter? Uh, Norma Myers? Yeah, she's still unconscious, and we also came up empty at her house. Zilch, she lives alone. But hey, what if she used some credit cards when she was down there? Maybe I should get someone to take a look. Yeah. yeah. The only thing these two women had in common is they were both at the airport this weekend. Mm. No, ma'am, no. Hannah. It's Lou. Hi. Well, we got one. You did? Yep. Convicted dealer, a buddy of Lamoureux's, probably, who put him up to the muling scam. Did you find the drugs? I got another set of friends nope. Where's one, Lou? I've been seeing a lot of people who were in and out of the airport in the last 48 hours. Maybe Lamoureux did fly up from Mexico. Yeah, he could have. Um, I'll check it out, OK? County General, 40 minutes ago, a new admission. A woman who ate on the same flight 117 from Bogota. See food salads as she should have known. 
Oh, shit, caterer. Sick as a dog, but remarkably talkative. Okay, now for the bad news. Her catering company served large banquets last night and Friday night. Oh, perfect. Although it doesn't mean that she's infected anyone. Well, I know, but we're still gonna have to check, check out Check these admissions. I know, none of them match. Okay, I, I want a list of everybody who was on that same flight. Already working on it. Okay. All right, see ya. Yeah. That's what they said? No. How can they do that? Do they understand what's going on here? Absolutely. Hannah, if the airlines serve contaminated seafood, they're open to all kinds of litigation, not to mention the negative publicity. Oh, that's ridiculous. George, I need that passenger list. I need it now. Can't we force them to give it to us? Listen, their CEO is looking at this. It's going to take a little time. We don't have time. There were as many as 60 passengers on that flight who were exposed. Now, a lot of them stayed here, but some of them went on. Do you know how, how far this thing could have spread already? Then how can you just do nothing? I am not doing nothing. I put a great deal of pressure on them. Pressure? George, I have six dead. I have 39 and counting sick. They're so concerned about negative publicity. You know, I, I do know a reporter at the Herald who would just love to tell the world how a major airline is so concerned about litigation that they are going to let people die. That won't accomplish anything. Anna, you can't do that. Watch me. We don't mention they're withholding the passenger list. We just say that anybody who was on that flight could have been exposed to cholera, and they should contact their local health officials. There can't be any downside to that, George. OK. I'll call a press conference if you agree not to start in about the airline. Fine. I, I just can't let this get any farther out of hand. Can we get on the 6 o'clock news? I'll try. I'm going to make this call. Anna, how long since you slept? I don't know. Dad! Dad! Get under his arm, we'll lift him up. <laughs> Wake up! Dad! Dad, what do we do? Get out. Go find some help. Daddy? Daddy! I'll go find help. You stay with him. No. I'm afraid I can't. Yes, you can. You'll be OK. Come on, Julie, don't cry. You can do this, Julie. I know you can. I'm just going to go look around, and then I'll be right back. OK, but don't be too long. I won't. George, Ryan, Rick Schaffner. Rick's the Herald reporter. I told you helped us out. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Thank you. Hannah, thank you. Thank you. Hannah, word before we start. The supervisors are fine with it, but that weasel who works for the mayor is going to be a pain. Well, George. Now, don't worry. I'll back him off, but they're watching us close. OK? You ready, Hannah? By air travel from South America. However, you should immediately seek medical attention. Airline if you officials in Denver declined comment until all the information gathered by the local health department has been analyzed. 
change flights in Chicago? Do you remember yes, what airline that was? Yes, this is the Health Services calling. Yes, he is now. Paul Warren. This, this is John from Pacific Health Services. Flight 117. I'd just right. like to ask you a few Robocop. questions. Well, I was totally connected to a flight into Chicago. No, no, there's no reason to be alarmed. Look, we just need Mr. Lopez to go to his nearest county health center. Yeah, if you have a work number, that would be a big help. And you haven't been anywhere in Latin America recently? No, no, no way, no. Mr. Ricci, we know you take cocaine. I just want you to take... I don't use that. cocaine. That's not what your tests say. Yo, are you arresting me? No, I am trying to find out how you were exposed. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm not feeling well. Nurse, I need more medicine. Nurse! You have a mild case, Mr. Ricci. You've been given all the antibiotics you need. No, I want a lawyer. Is there a problem? Yeah, I want a lawyer. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's one thing we don't have on tap here. Thank God. Where's your child? Room two over there. How bad is he? He's been stable for the past. We need a crash cart in here. Give me two milligrams of adrenaline. Two milligrams for that. Oh, two stats are dropping. Two stats are dropping. Dropping now. Stats up to 110. Sodium bicarbonate. Doctor? Still trying. Doctor? Doctor, stop! Him. Oh, I got pizza. I see you're ready. Set him up on the dynamap. Every minute, two vital signs. Respiratory rate. Oh, two stats back to 88 percent. Climbing up to 92. Good. Let's hey, get him Dr. down Sands. there. Call admissions office. He's stable now. Gonna vitals be <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I suck. 
sorry about what happened back there. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I should be doing this anymore. Hey, come on. No, I was fine when I was a field doctor with the CDC. I mean, they sent me to outbreaks all over the world. Typhoid, cholera, Ebola. You just don't let it get to you. That's, that's the drill. But boy, when it does, and you don't deal with it, when all you can see is everybody else's needs and you don't feel you have the right to deal with your own. I mean, God forbid you cry. God forbid you say, hold me, I'm hurting. I had half the children in an African village die on me once. Half the children. I pushed myself so hard, I just stopped functioning. So I came back here, because this I can handle, right? It's nine to five, it's clean, family life. What happens there could never happen here. Yeah. You know, that baby's gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah. You need an IV. I, I haven't been well since that fundraising dinner. Uh, is, is Sam okay? Uh, I, I don't know. Rob, I'm gonna be right back. You're gonna be okay, don't worry. Just a minute. Sam and Hannah's place, so you probably want to... I know it's getting dark, and I know it's a big part. This is a very dangerous disease, and it needs to be treated as soon as possible. Well, then whichever rangers are there, they're just gonna, they're gonna have to... Okay, good. Uh, listen, make sure that switch party has the proper medical supplies. He could be extremely dehydrated. 
Uh, okay, good. Thank you. Uh, would you call me as soon as you get back? Are you a family family or not? I hurt my ankle. I can't walk. How's Dad? He won't wake up, Fry. What's up, Lou? Hmm. These bozos still haven't gotten down to business. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, aren't we lucky? Wait a minute. Here we go. All right, we're all set to move as soon as you see the cash. It's good. Pay up. Come on, come on. Money is out. That's your invite. I don't know what else to do. And he paid with cash and the tip of counter. No address, no phone number, no nothing. I don't even want to think about how many Joe Smiths there might be in and around Manhattan. Okay, well, just call as many as you can. Who else we can work with? Here's 
believe his numbers. Okay. No, this is Dr. Cole. I'm calling to find out if the search party's found my family. Nothing, Aaron. Well, when are you going back out? Oh, right. Yeah, okay, thanks. No, but, you, but you'll call. Thank you. Bye. They're still lost. I have to go there, George. It's okay. Carl can run things while you're gone. I know he can. I can even get back in the trenches. And don't worry, I won't be diplomatic. Thank you. I will call you from the car. Okay, don't worry about it. Let's go find them, okay? Good luck. Uh, if we could just get this stuff loaded, we... What's in there? That's extra medical supplies. I didn't know we needed any more. Medical supplies from the city. My husband is out there with two kids and a disease that could kill them if we don't find them in the next few hours. So if you want to give me a hard time about being a little overprepared, could we do it in the air, please? Yes, ma'am. Come back. We gotta figure out a way so they can see us. What are you doing, Julie? Hurry up. You gotta hurry before they go. camping area. Good. Can we go back around one more time? This is Rescue 4, uh, no sign of him yet. Copy, Rescue 4.
we tried to get him down home, but we couldn't. Then Brian hurt his ankle. It's OK, honey. It's OK. You were so brave, Julie. <laughs> you got to help my daddy. He's really sick. He's right over there. We're going to help him, sweetie. Come on. We're going to help him right now. Take a look at him for me. He's gonna be all right, isn't he? He's gonna be fine, honey. actually out of the woods with this disease. We should know in a week or so. There are still people, people out there, but as long as they are, didn't know what they, they were dealing in. with, and they didn't seek treatment in time. How are we doing? Where are we? Well, we reached everybody from the original flight. Well, that's Stuart from Flight 117. Taiwan says he's out of danger. Anna, we haven't had any new cases reported since yesterday. Oh, this is great. Listen, we take care of these secondary infections. You're going to have to let me take a vacation. Wait. Uh, Hannah, there is one patient I think you ought to take a look at. Where? Over here. Hey. Hmm. Morning, Doc. What happened? Well, uh, we found the coke, and I got shot. I hear that um, you found your husband and your kid. Is, is, is he going to be all right? Yeah, he is. Lou? Hey, look, it's, it's just a scratch. I'm, you know, I'm just a little sore. And uh, the cholera? It, it's, it's contained. We haven't had another case yet. Hey, yeah, <laughs> we did good, huh? Yeah. We tried to pick you up, but you weighed a ton. <laughs> so I ran through the forest trying to find help, and I uh, I couldn't find anybody. Well, I'm proud of both of you. There you are. You said you could get out of bed. Oh, well, never mind. You kids think I could have a little time alone with your dad? Sure, Mom. Come on, Bray. You know, if you were looking for a little more wifely attention, there are a lot easier ways to get it. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Are you okay? You know, there were a lot of times when I wasn't sure I was going to make it. But I did. Thanks to you. Me? I heard your voice a lot. And you actually listened to it? <laughs> yes, I listened to it. I did. I'm glad. 